You like my look? <laughs> I try to use grey eyeshadow and a pop of yellow and busted out my stone lipstick from NYX. I really like it. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a shop by stash or shop, shopping hour stash video in 2019 and the first half of 2020. Me and Paula and Mercedes we did shopping our stash for a certain color of the month and every January we shopped our stash for the Pantone color of the year. Me and Paula we didn't want to do that anymore when it became summertime we we just we really wanted to move on but we thought it would be really funny to shop our stash for the Pantone color of the year every year. This year is a weird one. The Pantone color of 2021 is ultimate gray and illuminating yellow. For this video, me and Paula, we are going to shop our stash for gray. We have done a silver video, so I will link that down below. And we have done a yellow video where we shop our stash for those. I don't really have any bright, intense neon yellows in my collection. I have checked. I have some really bright yellows and shimmery and matte and everything like that, but we already shopped our stuff for that. So for me not repeating myself, go watch that yellow video and plus the silver. I will try to not talk about the silver ones in here and just the grey ones, the darker, darker greys. These colors are not going to be perfect, but we're just shopping our stash for the color so we don't go buy heaps of that color because we don't know or don't think we have that in our collection. So that is really the point of this series we did and I'm really excited to share, you my, share with you my grays. I don't wear gray. I don't. This shadow look right here and lip is so rare that it's really non-existent. <laughs> I don't wear it. So. For me, having these many grey colours, <laughs> not very good. I don't know if I can pan a grey, but I kind of like the look that I have going on today. So let's just shop my stash for grey, ultimate grey. Let me start out with the only single shadow that I could find that was like kind of grayish and that is a shadow that was in my Panda palette for 2020. It is a Catrice single shadow in um, Game of Stones. Not Game of Thrones, but Game of Stones. I thought it was really fun when I bought it. Um, which hand is best? This one I think. It has some brown in it, but ultimate it is gray yeah it's just kind of muddy oh let me go grab my towel and i'll be right back hopefully i can get through this video without baby girl waking up because she is not going she doesn't want to sleep today the next shadow comes from my maybelline smoky eyes palette and it is in natural smokes i have one shadow in here uh, in my panos eyeshadows but I have only used it a few times, so no spoilers there. But the one that I want to swatch is this one right there. I do think that is a kind of grey shade. That one looks kind of grey. Is it kind of a dupe for the one that I just swatched? Maybe? This is a little bit more brown, but it's really similar. So let's swatch that as well, because why not? <laughs> I really don't need any dark greys, okay. I love this formula, this is so nice. And way more pigmented than the Catrice shade, oh wow. Yeah, you can definitely see those tones has a little bit more brown in it, but they are kind of on the grey side, and I will use them in the same way as this one. So that is basically way better than the Catrice shadow. Um, but the Catrice one is more grey-ish. So that one is just a pretty uh, grey-ish taupe. Somewhat a regret swatching that one because that is brown. <laughs> I don't think this one is like a grey. It has a little bit of brown and red to it. 
this one right here. This is the W7 On The Rocks palette. It is a dupe for the Subculture palette. That one right there. This one is called Cheers. It's kind of the same color as the shimmer shade from the W7 palette. No, the Maybelline palette, but this is just shimmer. This is matte. So far, this is the most gray. <laughs> this one is definitely gray. This is the W7 Seduced palette, and it is the do for sultry, is it called that? Sultry palette from Anastasia. So if you have the palette, you definitely know what I'm going to swatch. I am going to swatch, swatch the gray shade. This one right there. This is called Must. And that is a true gray. So many cat hairs. Felix, the true gray. Right there. This is really cool toned and the Catrice one looks like warm toned. Is that a thing with greys? But you can see it has like a purple undertone, kind of a bluish purple undertone to the grey. That's really interesting. That's so different. But yes, so far one true grey and four not so much. But we're shopping our stash and I really don't need anything else. Then we have my Gwen Stefani um, in the K collab palette and I'm going to swatch Sirius that shade right there so that is like a darker gray but it is gray I love this formula this is so goodness that is dark <gasps> okay that it is a dark gray with some red pink micro glitters in it I don't see it as a shimmer but there's definitely something in it. Let's see if we can get it on camera. Yeah, there. You can see there's glitter in it. But I don't think it is going to transfer that much in the swatch or on the lid. It is so dark. Just... Oh my god. That one. Look at that. That is so dark. Oh my god. But it is grey. It's not black. And it's not a taupe. It's not a brown, it's grey, but it's just a really dark grey with some kind of shimmer in it. Then we have the BS Cosmetics Weekend Festival palette and I am going to swatch Carnival. Carnival, that one right there. As you can see that is a grey with shimmer. I don't want to say it is a silver because a silver to me is like what I have on my lid today and I do think that is a little bit deeper than a true silver. I don't remember swatching this in my silver video, maybe I did, but I do think it is a greyish color. And as you can see that so uh, grey, I was going to say silver, that silver grey color is really really good quality. I love the BH Cosmetics formula. Then we have the MDK Vice 4 palette and I'm going to swatch... yeah, I'm going to swatch three shades from this. Just cover up the mirror. I'm going to swatch that shade, that shade and that shade. And that shade is a little bit more uh, purple silver like so those three shades right there that shade is leaning very very dark just like the the Gwen Stefani palette gray but to me it's a gray it's not a black it's just really really dark metal gray the light one right there is called grip which has some glitter to it they both they all have glitter to it and the next one right here is called deadbeat Maybe it is a black. And then this shade down here is called a low. Oh, that is a dry shade compared to the others. Glitter. Glittery shade, I should say. That bead is very, very dark. Just like the Gwen Stefani palette one. Maybe it is a black. I don't know. Grip, dead bead and low. So low is a little bit more brown to it. But it has some silver glitter in it. In the pan, it looked way more grey than it does on the swatch. Look at my fingers. <laughs> Goodness. The last palette we have here is my Morphe 35K palette. 
and it is the cool neutral palette right here on my eyes today i have that shade right there that shade that shade on my eyes today um so kind of that row is really gray except for that one that is obviously black um and i do think that is kind of a silver shade but these are really gray tone this is a little bit more purple so i'm not going to swatch that so the lighter gray that i have in my crease today that is a matte this is like a shimmer sh uh, satin shade okay so i swatched the last uh, three shades and I kind of regret some of these swatches because they are leaning very black when I look at them They seem gray or like a deep gray color because this one is a black And yet you can definitely see that is a black. So these are kind of lackluster black shadows Which is really unfortunate <laughs> because then that means I have three more blacks in my collection um, or at least very dark grey colours. So in this palette, when I look at it, I have one, two, three, four, five greys. And the rest is kind of brown and taupe colours. This is a little bit more blue and this one is a little bit more purple. Um, so I really like this palette. It's a really great quality and I loved using these greys on my eyes. Which was really surprising. But yeah these three colors they look very black so if you really think about it i only have two grays in my collection like true gray and that comes from my seduced palette the must shade right there and then from my 35k palette that shade right there otherwise i don't think i have any more like true gray colors but these when i look at them i think of them like a gray shadow i don't think of them like a three deep black shadow or deep um brown or like a taupe or something like that i think about them as gray yeah <laughs> so these are all my grays in my collection grays in my collection yeah i think that is way too many but we can do it <laughs> so if i wanted to pan these colors they were definitely going in my outer v or in with the lighter grays they are going to be crease shades crease shades um definitely the shimmer shadows shim shimmer shades are definitely going on the lid or like a glitter liner that would be pretty as well getting ideas you know for future product pans if i decide to pan these i don't know especially the blacks because i don't wear black um i just really don't so yeah let me know if you have shopped your stairs or will shop your stairs for greys and what do you think about the Pantone color of 2021? I don't know. I saw Free the Tomatoes. I don't remember your name. I'm so sorry. I saw your Pantone color in Pretty Pan. She said that the people that decides the Pantone color of the year, they said it was going to be ultimate grey but then spiced it up with some yellow because 2020 was boring and that shade the gray shade is boring so this makes a fun out of it and make 2021 better than 2020 i thought that was really funny i don't remember how she said it but the way she said it was perfect it was spot on i love that so yeah i have too many grays I'm really excited to see Paula's video and please check her out if you don't know her already. If you know me, you definitely know her because I do a lot of project pants and collabs and stuff like that with her. I mention her so often. And if you come from Paula's channel, welcome. My name is Elizabeth. I live in Denmark. I just got my baby girl in the fall time, like in the end of September. So my makeup wearing is out of a uh, routine all in all i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and are excited that me and paula are going to bring it back every january every year because we really enjoy at least checking our stash for the pantone color did a lot of colors in that past 
one and a half year and I will link all of them down below and of course um, Paula and Mercedes channels because Mercedes was was a part of this for uh, like half a year so I hope you guys enjoyed and until my next video please take care bye